Hey everybody, uh, Jake Mishkiniak here with the family in Saugatuck. Beautiful Saugatuck. Tower Marine behind me. Um, got a few hours of fish, so I figured I'd try, try to get some out of the marina. I uh, don't have the yak with me, so I'll just be walking. Um, today, I actually have the three poles. So I've got the President on the Canyon Creek Ultralight, the 13 to 5, which I fixed a fourth time, I think. I don't know, I tried to fix that thing a hundred times. And then I have the Luz Light Mach 1. So we're going to give that a shot and see what we can make happen. All right, we're going to start out with this 30 second spin tail. Super freaking dirty, but on the 13 to 5 again with my Abu Garcia Ice. One, uh, 100 reel, I think. It's a 1000 series. It just says uh, Abu Garcia Ice 5 is the label on the sticker. So, let's see what we can make happen here. Let us sink. Is two pound ice braid so hopefully I don't get anything big otherwise it will not be a good day just let her sink to the bottom happy Labor Day everybody the time I post this it's probably gonna be later than that but Y'all had a good safe weekend. Slow down the retrieve a bit. Let's see if we can get it skipped underneath there. Nope, not quite. Stop actually sinking. I've never fished here before, so I'm not even really sure if there's anything in here. I'm guessing there would be something in here. I mean, we're right off Lake Michigan, and that's we're in Saugatuck, so. I would assume there would be something in here. that we're gonna pick apart probably every every dock just to be sure just switch over to this guy ultralight do a little gold Fort Knox whaler jig on a little Bobby Garland Dick.
Buffalo Retrieve. trying to do here. So I'm gonna let it get into the bottom, pick it up just enough, and then let it kind of pendulum back to me without actually reeling it in. I don't know if that's gonna make a fan bit of difference, but let's see what we got going. It is almost 2.30 in the afternoon, so the chances of us catching anything is really slim, but whatever. Let's see if we can rock against that dock over there. these pier sections here.
bait, but oh well. Let's go to the next pier spot here. Down, put this guy back on there. This is tied with a loop knot. I don't know if you can see that or not, but it's kind of a far loop knot, but the job done still. Also, when you're on vacation with your family and you randomly forget your bag, you borrow your wife's Lulu bag to put your tackle in. I'll make it happen one way or another. Good, how are you? Good. Any fish around this place? I couldn't tell you. So over here like that. We'll stick with the gold guy. I got a good feeling about the gold guy here. Lilies. See if we can make have anything in there. It's a really cool little small center console. Oh. oh, denied. There was a bite. First bite of the day, right with those lilies. Of course, I go and muck it up like that. Let's try this direction. Fishing really is a game of a thousand casts. But again, I mean, hunting's the same way. Out there for 35 hours a week just to get that, you know, a couple seconds with the buck or doe of a lifetime. Same principle. Same principle. Can't catch them from the couch.
jigs are so small they don't even make a splash. I'm used to fishing for bass and whatnot and being as loud as possible and just get a reaction bite. This light gear game is completely new to me still. Got one. Fighting. Not exactly sure what it is. It's staying down there. Keep it pinned. Woo. Don't get me on that, man. Don't get me on there. Don't get me on there. It's a big one. What are you, a drum? Did you guys see that? Loosen this up a bit. Or tighten it, but loosen it. Oh my goodness. You're a gar. Oh no, you're a pike. Huh, got a pike. I don't know if I'll be able to get him out of there with the that a net. I may have to borrow that net. Yeah. Say, come on, buddy. We're gonna borrow a net. Come on, dude. We're gonna borrow a net. Come on, dude. I'm gonna borrow this net. Is that okay? It's not mine, so you can. Okay. Do it. Yeah. I say I got a massive pike on here, and I don't want to handle them. Uh, I call them. Come on, buddy. This way. This way, this way. Thank you, sir. Easy squeezy. Don't thrash, dummy. Don't thrash. You're going to make it worse. Just make it worse. Now I'm definitely stuck. Yep, I got it. Got it locked in the cleats. All right. Alright, did you flip around in there? Or are we stuck on? He's really bent. Yeah, he's all over the place. Cool, thank you very much. I guess I got my answer. Woo! Broke off. Holy mother. The big boy. Easy, dude. Yeah, get my jig out. Get you toothless out of there. Still on that cleat though. Dude, quit, quit. I'm trying to put you back. I don't want to handle them because they stink. Let's just get you back in there. Get you off this cleat. One side, second side, flip. Perfect. Back in the water. Thanks for the help, sir. Yeah, yeah. That's a very smelling fish. Yes, and they're disgusting smelling. Cool. Didn't skunk. That was fun. Okay. It didn't thrash me. Just came unhooked. Bent out my jig a little bit. Use an Alberto knot, so you loop it, bring it in, pinch it, round, one, two, three, four, five, six, 
the other way. One, two. Come on, keep going. Four, five, and six. Okay, and then go through the same way you came in. Like that. too far. Pulled it too far. Okay, let's try it again. This is 10 pound braid to 4 pound fluoro, so probably not the best choice of line combo, but let's try her again. Again, I apologize for the wind if it's really, really bad. Not exactly sure. Plenty of lead in there. Pincher. Start wrapping. Two, three, four, five, and the other way, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then we'll go. See which way I went in initially. So normally, huh, let's try. There we go. I don't really mind the tag ends. And I'm fishing with this big of a leader, so. That much. Back in action. Okay. Someone was jamming. This is Jake with Michigan Yak. Thanks for watching everyone. I didn't really catch anything else. Only had an hour before we went to dinner, so had a few minutes. If you can, get out there anytime you can. It's relaxing. It de-stresses me for sure. Have a good one.